Hey everyone, welcome back to Factor Fictional. I'm your host, Veronica Belmont, and this is a show where we talk about the cool tech and science from your favorite TV shows, movies, video games, and comic books, and ask, is this possible? And if not, why not? Last week we had my dear, dear friend, Mr. Roger Chang, on the show to talk about Spider-Man's web slingers. Now, it seems that while we are pretty close to actually developing a synthetic web, uh, like spiders actually make in the wild, we're still really, really far off from finding some kind of viable web slinger to actually do the dirty work of swinging from building to building. So we gave that one a fictional. Sorry, comic book fans. This week we are talking about yet another comic book tale, Why the Last Man. In this story, a plague strikes down every male mammal with a Y chromosome, except a man and his monkey. Today we're talking to science writer and author of the book, The Violinist Thumb, Sam Keen, about whether or not we should be worried about the men of our species. Well, I'm already worried about you guys, but for totally different reasons. Sam, thank you so much for joining us. Hi, thanks for having me. So for people who may not be familiar, can you give us a little rundown of the X and Y chromosome and how they work? Sure. Uh, all human beings have 23 pairs of chromosomes, and 22 of the pairs are identical in men and women. The last set in women is also identical. It's called the X chromosome. That's why you see females referred to as XX sometimes. But in men, it's a little different. Men have one X chromosome and then one Y chromosome. So you can think about the XX, the female, as being kind of the default, kind of the norm for uh, you know mammals. Whereas you need to add a little something to get a male. And what you need to add is a little, a uh, few genes on the Y chromosome that produce the testes and help help males make sperm, things like that. Uh, are there any potential threats to the Y or even the X chromosome? Is there some way that they could be wiped out? Uh, the X chromosome seems pretty safe. There is a bit of a problem with the Y chromosome. Uh, and without getting into the details too much, the other chromosomes, when, they, uh, when a cell is dividing, they sort of meet in the center. And when they meet in the center like that, they actually perform some quality control checks. Uh, they swap DNA a little bit, and they also check each other for mutations. And the overall effect of that process is that they can dump bad DNA. And that's very important for the overall health of the species to be able to get rid of bad DNA. The X chromosome can also perform these quality control checks because X chromosomes meet in females. The Y chromosome, though, is a different story because the Y chromosome never meets another Y chromosome, so it can't do these quality control checks. Mm. So when a mutation arises on the Y, it really has no good way to get rid of it. And the only thing that can happen is that the cell has to kind of chop that DNA out and delete it. And this has been happening over and over and over, over the 300 million or so years that there's been a Y chromosome. A uh, very long time ago, the Y and the X chromosome were roughly the same. Both were pretty big chromosomes, and the Y had about 1,400 or so genes on it. Now, it's just a little tiny stub that only has about 24 genes on it. So uh -oh. it's really, really been chopped down. And because this process has been so relentless and going on for so long, uh, biologists used to talk sometimes about the possibility of the Y just disappearing completely, just getting chopped chopped down until there was absolutely nothing left. That kind of sounds like the, the premise for Why the Last Man. It, would it be possible for a disease or, or even something man-made to target the Y chromosome? It would be possible for something to target the Y chromosome. Uh, more likely what might happen is that the Y would accumulate mutations, uh, not be able to get rid of them, and the male who had them would be infertile. And that's actually something that happens pretty commonly today. The Y chromosome, again, just has lots of problems, and it often leads to men being infertile. Um, the other danger sort of over the longer term would be, again, that the Y chromosome would just keep shrinking and shrinking until there was nothing left of it. A total extinction of one sex seems actually a little less far-fetched than I originally thought. Um, is this okay. something we need to be worried about? No, I don't think it's something we need to be worried about uh, because the Y has its own actually kind of surprising way to do 
quality control checks. I talk about it a little bit in my book. Uh, one way it does it is by using palindromes. Uh, you know, we think about them as word games like Madam, I'm Adam or Sex at Noon, Texas. But there are genetic palindromes as well. And the Y chromosome actually uses them sometimes to do these quality control checks. So it does have some way of uh, preventing mutations from accumulating. And the other thing to consider is that there are still plenty of males around today. And so any changes that would take place would be, you know, millions of years in the coming. So there's certainly not something, you know, that's going to happen to the next generation or in the lifetime of anyone who's around today. And just to throw out one kind of far-fetched question, would it be mm -hmm. more likely for there to be a children of men style mass infertility where everyone kind of goes infertile at the same time? Uh, is, that, is that more likely? I would say that would probably be more likely. You could definitely imagine some sort of virus that could just, you know, prevent human beings from being able to reproduce. Uh, another possible scenario is some sort of microbe that affects some people but not other people. People. Interesting. So I'm, I'm not really sure how to call this one factor fictional. It seems like <laughs> I, I, it has happened to at least one species where the Y chromosome was wiped out and then they, it, nature found, did eventually find a way. Um, but it seems unlikely that it will happen in our lifetime as human beings. Very, very strongly unlikely. Yes. All right. Great. Sam, thank you so much for joining us. All right. Thanks for having me. You know, I'm just going to give this one a big old fact because while the men of the species are not going to be all taken out at once, you know, over time they could just be weaned away. That Y chromosome just fading into the sunset. See you later, gentlemen. We don't need you anymore. It's cool. We got this. That's all for this episode. If you want to leave a comment or a suggestion for a future show, either leave me a comment here on the YouTube video or send me a tweet at Veronica. And remember, new episodes of Factor Fictional every Friday here at youtube.com slash techfeed. I'll see you next time.